What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. I just got done with the workout a little bit ago. So that's why I kind of look like a hot mess express. Actually, it's probably been like an hour or two at this point, but I'm starting to whip up one of, in my opinion, the most yummiest and easiest dinners of all time for myself. So I thought I would bring you guys along, do a little bit of a cook with me in this video because why not? But before I do, I'm gonna kick you guys back to my Trader Joe's and Costco hauls so you can see all of what we grabbed to get us through this a week. And then I will catch up with you guys and show you how to make this yummy, yummy dinner. So back to the hauls you go and I will see you guys in a few minutes. Home from the big old Trader Joe's. And as you can see, I didn't get a ton for this week from Trader Joe's. I did a big TJ's shop last weekend, so I stocked up on quite a bit then, and I just didn't really need a ton, except for quite a few seasonal items. So let's just jump into here. I grabbed some of this raw Argentinian red shrimp because I wanted to make my lobster bisque from like with the ingredients from Trader Joe's, the lobster bisque, but they were out of the lobster long, long details. I can never say it right, which I haven't ever seen them be out of them, but the lady that was standing next to me in the freezer aisle that works at Trader Joe's said that she hasn't seen it for a couple of months, but I'm pretty sure I saw it last week. So either here nor there, I'm going to try and make it with this red shrimp along with the lobster bisque. I think it'll turn out well. I haven't ever used this before, but um, I've heard it's, the shrimp's really good. And actually the lady that worked at Chitty's that was talking to me while she was filling the stuff, um, it was really good. So anyways, grabbed that we're going to make this for a, a dinner. Um, so it's pretty easy. You just mix the lobster bisque with this and some um, pasta. And actually, I think I'm going to make it and share it with you guys in this video. So more to come on that. Grabbed a bag of my tried and true organic elote corn chip dippers, the Mexican style. Both the Mexican style and the original are like extremely yummy. And then y'all, if you don't know about this pickle of popcorn from Trader Joe's, you are missing out. This used to be a staple item before the pickle chips, before the pickle seasoning and they discontinued it. And I think I mentioned in my video last week that the gal on Trader Joe's said that it was coming back this week, but it was seasonal. And here she is, four bags of it. And I could probably eat a whole bag of this in one sitting with no shame. So don't walk, run to your Trader Joe's and get you some of this till So I grabbed four bags of that. Again, no shame in my game on that. And then I grabbed another bag of this Caesar style um, complete salad kit. I'm gonna make some Caesar chicken wraps using this again this week. I made one um, last week and it was super, super good and easy. So grabbed a bag of that for this week. I grabbed a box of these seasonal, I think these are seasonal vanilla cookie thins. These I think will be so good and a little creamy. And if you saw my video last week, y'all know that we don't need any more cookies in this house, but I couldn't help myself. Actually, I looked at this, put it back on the end cap and walked away. And then this guy came up and was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they have these back in stock and grabbed like three boxes. So I had fun. So in the cart it went. I got some cowboy caviar. This I don't think is seasonal. Maybe it is, but I'm not quite sure. This is super yummy. You gotta, you gotta try it. And then I grabbed a thing of great tomatoes to go in my lobster bisque or my lobster shrimp bisque, I guess. These I haven't grabbed in a while, but Dallin and Trent, as well as myself, love these. I usually try to stay away from them, but the boys love them. I think they're better than Reese's peanut butter cups, but um, 
That might not be the case when you ask other people in my house, but anyways, they're super good. And then the star of the show. I know, I know it's a lot, it's a lot, but again, don't walk, run to your Trader Joe's and get you some of the Brazil nut. This is a straight up dupe. In fact, I think it's a better um, than some of the other body scrubs and body butters that are on the market today, in my opinion, that are really, really expensive. So they have body wash, body scrub as well as a body butter and y'all these are like not that expensive i think they're like 5.69 a piece for these and maybe 5.99 for the body wash i'm not quite sure but i grabbed five bottles of this and then um way too many of these and i have no shame in this i think i'm gonna do some giveaways maybe i'll do one in this video i haven't yet decided most likely i will so Keep watching or stay tuned for information on that if there ends up being one. But they're also good for gifts and they only come out once a year. And so you gotta get it when you can get it to you know, last y'all a year. So anyways, that is our Trader Joe's haul. Did Instacart just come? Huh? Did the Instacart man come with our Costco? Should we see what it is? Should we see what they brought us? Okay. All right. Instacart just delivered our Costco order. Don't mind all the June bugs. So we are gonna get this inside and I will give you guys a little bit of a haul. Welcome back to the kitchen. Before we jump into making dinner, I do wanna let you guys know that I have decided to do a giveaway for you guys for the Brazil Nut Body Butter, Body Scrub, as well as a Stanley Tumbler. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter to win those prizes or items, and let's get to cooking dinner. As I mentioned, this is probably one of the easiest and most delicious meals ever. So it literally is five ingredients. It's so easy that sets in wants to help make it. So it's just some fresh basil or basil, some grape tomatoes or heirloom tomatoes, whatever your preferred a pasta is. I love Banza um, brand, but whatever you prefer, you can get some at Trader Joe's and then the Trader Joe's lobster bisque. This time I'm gonna use um, this, whatever, Argentina, it's just shrimp. Um, shrimp for this because, and I think I mentioned this in the haul, but they didn't have the lobster long whatever that word is, tails. So we're gonna try this with shrimp. I'm sure it'll be just as good, but it's pretty simple. I'm gonna thaw some of the shrimp in like a strainer under like water. And then we're gonna put some great tomatoes skillet with olive oil i'll probably put some parsley and stuff in there get those nice and soft then we'll put in some of the shrimp and get that cooking and after that we will um mix in the lobster bisque to the noodles when they're done and then we'll fold in the tomatoes and shrimp and top it with basil so I'm gonna get some water boiling for this, get the shrimp thawed out, and then we will start cooking. All right, water is boiling. I got the shrimp thawed, and I went ahead and cut them into like halves or thirds. That's one of the things that I like about the uh, lobster, like long details, I can never say it, um, is that they're kind of little chunks. So I went ahead and uh, just cut those up a little bit. So now I'm gonna take some avocado oil spray. You can use regular olive oil, like whatever you want. But I'm gonna take some of that and spray it in there and get the pan kind of fired up. And then this is just for one serving for myself. And then we're gonna throw in some of these tomatoes some of them are kind of 
not doing that well, so I'm going to go through and pick, pick through which ones. You can use heirloom tomatoes too, would be really good with this. I think that's what most people use, but I prefer grape tomatoes. So we're going to go ahead and throw those in there. You can put however many you want, obviously. I just kind of eyeball it. So that's probably enough. So then we'll let get those get all coated up. And then right about the time that these start getting soft, I'll go ahead and put the noodles in and then the shrimp into there so that it all kind of comes together about the same time. Those have started getting soft, so now I'm going to put probably about a half, half of this box. I don't know. I'm going to just eyeball it. It's pasta, so it's going to expand a little bit. I'll put some of that in there. This is going to boil for probably about six minutes. So now that that is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and pop in the shrimp into here. We'll let that start to get to cooking. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley or a lot of parsley it looks like on there. That mix up. So, so far we have uh, softened the grape tomatoes in some olive oil or avocado oil. And we've started our noodles boiling. So we'll get this all cooked up. Sorry, my camera skills are a little shoddy today. So let those get cooked. And then once the noodles are cooked, I think I mentioned this, but we'll mix in the lobster bisque into there. And then combine everything and top it with some basil. Too breezy. Noodles are done. And I wanted to show you all this. So if you do not have one of these, you need to get you one. It's literally a strainer that fits on like any size pot or pan to like drain things. So super convenient. You just like throw in the dishwasher or hand wash it and it doesn't take up like a big old space like a regular strainer does. So we've got those drained and I will say that I leave a little bit of the pasta water in there just to kind of cut the lobster bisque a little bit. So lobster bisque, so we're just gonna kind of eyeball this. I probably put like a quarter to, I don't know, a third or something like that in there. It, this is all just eyeballing. Turn the burner back on. We'll mix that up a little bit. As you can see, there's still some water in there. It just kind of helps cut it a little bit so it's not so thick and like strong. This lobster bisque is a pretty strong flavor, so I just kind of like to cut it. And you can, you don't have to leave any water in there, or you can, you know, leave less water. It's kind of up to you. I actually sometimes will leave a little bit less water than what's in here. It's a little bit runny, but once we pour this in there, it'll kind of thicken up. So we'll let that heat up for a minute and thicken up, and then we'll dump that in there, mix it all up, and we will be done. Okay, we've got that boiling and thickened up. Let's see if I can dump this in one hand here. Sorry for the clanging in the background. The, our golden retrievers are enjoying their dinner. So now we are just going to mix this all up, let it kind of simmer for a minute or two. Get all the flavors rolled into one and we'll put it in a bowl, put the basil on, and we will be done -zo. Alrighty, it is time to get this yumminess poured into my bowl, put the basil on, and get it in my belly. Okay, I have already chopped up some fresh basil with my skizzers here. We're just gonna spread some of that. 
on top. And there we go. One last look at dinner here before I get this in my belly. And now let's talk about what you need to do to be entered into the giveaway. All right, all about the giveaway. The things you need to do to be eligible to be entered into the giveaway are pretty simple. One, you gotta like this video, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Number two, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Hopefully you already are a part of this whole bleep show that I have going on around here. So that's number two. And then number three, comment down below and let me know, do you prefer to go in store to shop at Costco or do you like to get your items via Instacart? I'm a mix. I, I like to go in store cause I kind of like to see, you know, all of the things, but I feel like in a way by doing it through Instacart, it kind of keeps me on track of the things I really need to get and not just like the random stuff that ends up in the cart. And that's it. So like this video, be subscribed to my channel, comment down below if you are an in-store shopper at Costco or if you prefer to get Instacart. And then make sure you leave your Instagram handle in your comment so that I have a way to contact you. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Sorry for the dog in the background, but such is life. He is it's zoomy time. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this recipe and seeing what we grabbed to get us through this crazy travel busy week we have ahead of us. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.